Hey, it's Pete here, and today I wanted to teach you how to play Barboo in five minutes. So for this, Barboo is a card game that uses just the normal deck of playing cards with no jokers. It needs four people, and each person gets 13 cards. With this, aces are high, through to twos are low. So ace, king, queen, jack, down through to two. So Barboo is actually made up of seven games. So these seven games, are, two of these are positive games, which are trumps and dominoes. And then there are five negative games, which are no tricks, no hearts, no last two, no queens, and Barboo, also known as no heart king. So how do we actually play each of these games? Six of these are trick-taking games. Dominoes is the one that's not a trick-taking game. So a trick-taking game, uh, basically someone plays a card, Everyone must follow suit to that particular suit if they can. If not, they can discard what they want. But the highest card that followed suit gets to win the trick. Trumps is basically just you get to, the dealer gets to choose trumps and that if you can't follow suit, you can play a trump and that will win. There are a couple of special rules in trumps that if you can trump, you must, but you don't need to under rough if you have to. Um, but if someone plays a trump, you have to over play a higher trump if you can as well. Uh, for no tricks, um, you just don't want to win any tricks. For no hearts or no king of hearts or barboo, uh, no one can actually lead the heart suit unless they have nothing else but that. Uh, no hearts, you don't want to win any tricks with hearts in them and the ace of hearts is especially bad. No last two, the first 11 tricks don't matter but the last two tricks uh, cost points. So if you play the highest, the winning trick on the second last trick, you lose 10 points and 20 points for taking the final trick. No queens, you don't want to win any tricks that have a queen in it. No heart king, you don't want to win the uh, king of hearts. Dominoes is a little bit different. What dominoes is, is people get to, the dealer gets to choose a card and that is the first card that gets to start off the chain. So let's say that the dealer chooses uh, a five. So the dealer goes first in all of these games and the dealer gets to play a five if they have one. Now that can be the five of hearts or it could be the five of clubs or diamonds or spades. Any of them can actually start. Let's say the dealer plays the five of hearts. Now play goes clockwise in all these games. So the next player to play can choose to go up or down from this five of hearts or play another five. So they could play the four of hearts or they could play the six of hearts or they could go ahead and play the five of clubs. The next player can play the five of spades or diamonds, or they can go up or down from either of these five. So they could play the five of the four of clubs, six of clubs, four of hearts, six of hearts, any of those. If you can't play, you just get to pass your turn, but if you can play, you must. And the goal is to be the first one to empty your hand. So once you empty your hand, you are done. So they're the games that you actually play. So I'll bring them back up. Now with Babu, what happens is the dealer chooses a game and then the next player gets to choose who they want to double. So what they get to do is, are they gonna do better than any of the other players uh, they get to choose? And they can double anyone, uh, except in positive games, you can only double the dealer. With doubling, uh, you must double the dealer at least two of the seven games. So for this, what actually gets to happen is let's take for example dominoes and let's say first and second were doubled with each other. How the scoring actually works is just for coming first in dominoes you'd get 45 points. If you were doubled with second you get the difference of that as well. So you'd get an extra 25 points and get 70 whereas second place was going to get 20 but they've lost 25 points to first so end up on negative five. So in recap with Babu uh, normal playing cards and you, there are seven sub games. Everyone gets a chance to be dealer. You can only choose these games once each, so it gets progressively smaller field to choose from. And everyone must double the dealer at least twice. But what you actually get good advantage from is doubling people that are going to do worse than you. So what happens within the doubling stage? Left of the dealer gets to choose who they want to double first. Then the next player gets to choose who they get to double. Then the third player. And then the dealer can only choose to redouble. They can't double anyone. So we've got those seven games. Trumps and dominoes are both positive games. Trumps is a trick taking game like all the others except dominoes where you lead a card and have to follow suit if you can. Highest card wins and leads to the next trick. Uh, 
Dominoes, like I explained before, no tricks, you don't want to win any tricks. Uh, no hearts, you don't want to win any tricks with hearts in them, but you can't play hearts until you've got nothing but hearts. You can discard hearts though. No last two, you just don't want to win the last two tricks. No queens, you don't want to win any tricks that have queens in them. And Barbu, you don't want to win the trick that has the king of hearts. And again, you can't lead hearts until you've got nothing but hearts. That's how to play Barbu. I'll post a link in a, a site where you can actually play. Um, and I'll put out a tips on how to actually win at Barbu video. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time.